Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Previously, I had uh, posted a video on my channel uh, regarding uh, installation of uh, virtual box or Oracle virtual box and using the uh, uh, Linux virtual machine inside the virtual box on our Windows machines. Uh, so, uh, there I uh, promised to post a video for a fix which we usually get when our virtualization is not uh, enabled on our Windows machines. That's we can only see the Linux uh, flavors or the Linux operating systems, the virtual machines with only 32 bit specifications. And if we are using the 64 bits, so it's not showing us. So let's go through uh, the possible fixes of this problem. So starting from uh, downloading the VM virtual box. Since we are using Windows hosts, so again I will download it. The users who have already uh, installed this, they can skip this part of the video. So let's quickly install it. very simple we can choose the features whatever we want so here we can uh, keep it as default and here I will say yes and install yes and I can click on finish Now this is our uh, uh, Oracle VM virtual box manager ready. If I say new, for example here, and then I can give any name, for example, Lin OS. I'm keeping, keeping this, and then here if I uh, choose the Linux, so this is the this is the problem here. So you cannot find any 64-bit flavors over there. So we are going to fix this problem. Okay. So there are no 30 there are only 32 32 32 bit okay so there are two possible ways one is we have to go in the bios settings of the system and then uh, 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 enable the virtualization so let's see how how, how can we do that uh, using that approach and then let's see whether the problem is was fixed if it was not fixed with that approach then in, there is another fix i will show you that also inshallah I will continuously press escape. I am using the HP laptop, so this is according to this. And then here uh, it's showing me for BIOS setup, I have to press F10. So I will press F10, it will enter in the BIOS setup. And here I will enter, yes. And here I will select advanced menu. And then the device configurations. In device configurations, I will go down. And here you can see the virtualization technique uh, technology is disabled so I will enable them both and then I will say save yes and then I can exit here save change yes so the system so the system is again uh, rebooted and then uh, now I will click on virtual VM box again I remember uh, I was uh, changing this uh, BIOS configuration in case of this uh, uh, HP Elite book. So other laptops will be having other ways, other keys uh, for uh, entering in the BIOS settings. So uh, I will be posting uh, some of the pictures, whatever possible pictures I will be having in the description of this uh, video where uh, you will find some other companies and some other architectures where, uh, where uh, which keys they are using so if now in this case if i uh, click on new so you can see uh, for example i will see anything linux any name and here i will select linux and here you can see now it's coming as 32 bit as well as 64 bit so for each one it's coming as 62 60 32 and 64 bits in the red hat 6432 right so 
so there is another possibility for example if you are uh, uh, if you open your bios settings and uh, your virtual technology was enabled but still uh, it was showing only 32 bits uh, so what can we do is uh, for that case we can go for some other fix that's uh, we have to enter in the programs and features of our windows machine and there we have to uh, click on turn window features on or off and there you will be seeing a hyper v this one this option if it's checked you have to simply uncheck it and then uh, click here the okay okay button and your system will be restarted and inshallah you will be seeing the 64 bits